Hey guys! Today we're making another project in a tin. I thought it would be cute to make some sort of fair or theme park type thing, so I really hope you'll enjoy. Now, if you wanted to, you could put in a lot more detail or more rides or stands, but I chose to keep it fairly simple and cute, so let's get started. First, you're going to need some sort of tin. You can use any type of tin you want. I chose to use this one that looks like a cassette tape, and it's just from some mints. Next, you want to trace the base onto a piece of paper. I used some watercolor paper. And then for the bottom half, I traced it onto this fake grass. I got this in a shop that sells supplies for model trains and stuff like that. And you just want to glue this to the inside. For the watercolor paper, I painted it using acrylic paint just to get a nice blue sky and some grass in the horizon. And then glued this in place as well. To make part of a roller coaster, I first roll out thin snakes of clay, put two and two next to each other like this, and then before pre-baking I added liquid clay in between just to keep them together, and then after pre-baking I added the pieces or strips of clay in between to finish the tracks. Add these to the tin. And then for the rest of the structure, I glued in some head pins and then painted these using acrylic paint. To make a hot dog stand, I took some scrap clay and cut out a rectangle. Poked a hole on one side, then made a couple of wheels and baked. After baking, I cut and added a tabletop made from paper, glued on the wheels and then added a small piece from a head pin to make the foot so it can stand. To make the umbrella, I took some mold putty and made a small dome shape. Then used my knife to cut off some of the excess from the sides to give it the right shape. Added a thin sheet of clay and baked. And after baking I added details using acrylic paint and silver colored alcohol ink. And once glued in place, I also cut some small pieces of tissue to look like napkins that someone could have dropped or thrown. To make a booth for the ticket sales, I cut a rectangle from clay. Then cut a window, baked it, added details using acrylic paint 
and then added two pieces of the watercolor paper to make the walls on the back. I also cut some tiny triangles from the same watercolor paper and colored these using alcohol markers. Glued a head pin onto a piece of thread, then added the flags or triangles. I made some super simple balloons using polymer clay and after baking I added a piece of thin wire to make the string. Then because you can't really make balloons in miniature float in the air, I took some plastic from some packaging, bent it, added the balloons, and then glued this inside the tin. And then of course to make the balloons nice and shiny you want to add some glass clays on top. To make some cotton candy you can roll out a small cone from polymer clay. Then bake that, take some cotton and shade this with soft pastel. and then glue it together. Finally, I made a simple version of, I think it's called Tower of Terror in English. So I first made the stand and then pre-baked that. I then made the seats as well as a couple of stars. And then after baking, I glued it all together and added a few details using acrylic paint. And that's basically it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next tutorial.